Hey, Kevin. Got a new toy? I mean, tool? You know, it's amazing how quick Christmas comes sometimes. A nice guy from FedEx was just here, and he dropped off a brandy new Longevity TIG Weld 160SX. Do you know what that is? Not yet. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. <laughs> Let's look in here and see what we got. Oh, that's pretty cool. Give you lots of addresses. You know, go out to the web, go out to Longevity site. You can go to YouTube. You can see videos out there. You can see my videos out there. KevinCarone.com. Uh, they even give you a disc with uh, manuals and setup videos and everything on it already. And of course, the ever-present operator's manual. We'll get to that in a minute. So what can this thing do, Kev? Well, this is Longevity's new TIG Weld 160SX. It is a 110 or 220 volt, so it's a dual voltage machine. That means you can use it at home. You don't have to have a 220 line in your garage. Uh, you want to go out in the backyard? Oh my god, a 160 amp, 110 volt TIG welder that does AC, so you can do aluminum, and DC, and it's a stick welder. Whoa, <laughs> this will be fun to play with. So what's, what? how does it help that you can do AC and DC? AC, you can do aluminum. Right, it, AC is for aluminum, alternating current. You really, you know, you, that's what you need to do aluminum. DC, you do everything else. You know, you do steel and stainless, copper, brass, bronze, you know, all the exotic metals. That's all done on DC. Aluminum, you need the AC. A real easy control panel. You've got the panel control or foot pedal rocker switch. So panel control, everything works here. Foot pedal, it goes out to the foot pedal on the floor. So instead of just having the on-off button on the torch, then you have a gas pedal like in a car. The harder you push, the hotter it gets, the faster you go. Or panel control, where now you set your amperage here, or you just use the finger control on the torch for like you're out on a ladder, you know, you're standing up working on something, you're standing here working upside down where you don't want to have to fight with the pedal. You have your AC DC rocker for one or you know one or the other, and you have either TIG or stick. In the knobs, you have clearance effect, which is very much like what was called balance on the older machines in AC. But now it works in AC or DC. So you get the same kind of cleaning effect, but you can use it in either mode. Post flow, that's how much gas comes out of the TIG torch after you let go of the pedal or push the button on the, on the trigger to help cool the weld and help cool the torch. You have pre-flow, so when you push the torch button or push on the pedal, the welder will wait a second, two seconds, three seconds, whatever, whatever you have it set at, it will help flood the area with argon to get the oxygen out of the way so you can get a better weld. And then just an amp knob, amp, uh, amperage control. You have a power light and an overheat light and then you just have your connectors down here on the bottom for your TIG torch, your stinger for your uh, arc welding. The panel is for the, uh, the connector on your TIG torch. You would hook in here so your button on your TIG torch works or your foot pedal and the ground. On the back of the machine, just a regular on off switch and the hookup for a gas. So let's open up the box and see what's in there. So here's all your accessories that came in the box. Nice little TIG torch. Nice feel to it. Nice little on-off trigger on the top of it. Comes with a cup. You get a couple other different sized cups and a couple of collets and an extra back for your torch. Both the long and the short version. You get one red tungsten. a stinger for your arc welding, a doohickey, and 
Not quite sure. I'm going to have to read the book on that one. <laughs> There's your connector for your gas that goes on the back. They're using the same connector now as everybody else, rather than that slip-on hose with a hose clamp. Now you got a nice brass fitting screws in, so you can change from one machine to the other. Here's your ground cable. Nice big heavy cable, good tension on it. It's got the copper wire that bridges one side to the other, so you can get a ground on either side of the clamp. Good heavy piece of machine. Uh, this is cool. Here is your jumper cable that you need to go from 220 to 110. All you have to do is plug the machine in here, plug it into your 110 outlet somewhere. The machine automatically says, oh, wait, I'm on 110 now, and switches inside all by itself. Nothing for you to do. A pressure regulator for your gas bottle, and a really nice foot pedal, metal instead of plastic. It's got a rheostat on here for controlling your amperage. And two connectors on it, one that goes into the pedal control and the other that goes into the panel control. So now when you're using your foot pedal, instead of having to adjust your amperage on the machine, where now you got to get up and walk over, no. It's right here on, the, on your foot pedal. You can control it all from right here. Nice little setup. Oh, and this. A cute little wire brush. And a welding helmet. Come on, guys. You can do better than this. We won't bother setting that up. I'm going to set the rest of it up, and then we'll fire this puppy up, and we'll see what it can do. So you guys come on back tomorrow after I get all this put together and read the book. Bye.